gospel carriers from Pea Ridge, Arkansas. And for those who missed the performance they gave last night down at the Grand Gospel Music Show, you're going to get a little bit of taste of that today. And we'll turn it over to them and let them have a good time in Jesus. <laughs>
I'm glad of that today. I'm glad to die, that I know that there's a city, amen, where the lights will never grow dim, friend. It'll never grow dim because Jesus Christ is that light. And I'm thankful to that today. And I'm thankful that I can be in Keokuk, Iowa to, this afternoon and lift up the name of Jesus because he is our king. He is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And I love him. You better sing a little bit more. Come on. It's the highway of the king I want to try. gospel carriers from Pea Ridge, Arkansas, and we truly love the Lord today, and we're, we're just here to lift up the name of Jesus in, in song, and I'm going to just quickly introduce the, the group here to you, and we'll let you know who all's here. Back on the drums, uh, I want her to stand up. Uh, this is our lovely drummer, and we love her a whole bunch. We've got a, a, a new release on the radio, gospel radio stations right now, and this young lady wrote this song. And we'll be singing it for you this afternoon. And the name of it is Get Down and Get It. And, uh, but uh, we, we want you to just make her welcome today. Julie Austin on the drums. Sister Julie on the drums. Back over on the electric guitar this afternoon is a young man that I've known a long, long time. I've watched him grow up. And he's, he loves playing the guitar. He's, he's always played something for Jesus ever since he's been in church. A young man. But make him welcome. That's Brian Tidwell on the electric guitar, Brother Brian. On the keyboard this, this afternoon is my daughter, which I love very much. And I used to have to carry her, take her every Saturday to a piano lesson. But I believe it's paid off. As she does a super job on the keyboard, Melissa Fletcher. And next to Melissa is another one that has wrote some good songs for the gospel carriers and We'll be singing some of them. Maybe she'll be a, a testimony, uh, fine about them a little bit this afternoon. But uh, she sings a lot of lead and truly loves Jesus. Sister Bonnie Austin. Next to Sister Bonnie on the bass guitar today. Uh, I call him my right-hand man a lot, and truly he is. He just helps me a lot in the ministry. And, you know, I like participation with young people. You know, I want you to just make this guy welcome today. I love him. Brother David Austin, and I'm Leon Brown, and that makes up us gospel carriers. But friend, young people out there today, listen. Keep that light shining bright, because this is my testimony today. All these young people that's up here, my daughter, Brother David, Brother Brian, I didn't know Sister Julie then. She's married the old bass player here since that. But I used to carry these kids to a lot of talent contests before I ever knew Jesus. But, friend, I got to watching them. And my, my uh, son-in-law, he's here with us today, the bus driver, and we're going to have him play a little harmonica for us too. But he, he's got a little brother at home that takes care of all the farm. And at 15 years old, he witnessed to an old boy like this and showed me the way to find Jesus. And I'm behind young people today. I want to do all I can for, for the young people because, friend, you know, they say young people is the church of tomorrow, but they're the church today. Glory. And I just love Jesus. This next song we're going to be singing is I Want to Lift My Hands to Jesus. Listen here now, people. 
turned his head, crouched as Jesus said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And when he died, we were covered by the blood of the Lamb. He gave his all that day when they tore the nails in his hands and
beyond a shadow of a doubt, Jesus is going to return one of these days. Amen. I like this part of that song where it talks about shining up the, or the old globe. You know, if the globe on the lamp gets a little bit sooted up, you know, the light don't shine out very good. I, I was born under an old kerosene light one old cold October day, and I've still got that old lamp at home that sits on the back porch. And, you know, I go outside and on the way up to work or something, and I go by the old lamp, and it'll just be sitting there. It's probably got oil in it that probably won't even burn. You know, friend, today we've got to get the oil of the Lord down inside, down in this old heart, and let it, let it get to work in a little bit. You know, sometimes it's hard, you know. Jesus, he's got to trim that old wick a little bit, you know, when it gets all black on the end. He's got to trim that off. Sometimes it hurts to, to get a, a trim, and it hurts sometimes to have that old globe polished. But, friend, that's what we need today. We've got to keep polished up so that light will shine. I like the part of that song, Don't Give Up, Don't Look Back. Can you do a little bit more of that? Come on. Last word. Well, don't give up, don't look back. Keep on climbing. Keep on climbing. Don't grow weary. The day cannot be far away. When Jesus from his father's throne, he beckons us home. Yeah. 
crowded round him. They were hungry to see someone die. Yes, With the Roman soldiers, they bound him. And I know one who they crucified. But it wasn't the nails through his hands and And 
And we, I guess, you know, the Lord looks at us and says, maybe we are worthy to receive His blessings because He gives them to us. And we can receive them. But you know, tonight, I want to say that if you don't know the Lord as your personal Savior, He's able to, you, he's able to, to come and, and clean this old heart out. And you know, we can be happy. Christians are, should be the happiest people on the face of the earth. And you know, that's what I am tonight. I'm a happy person because of Jesus Christ. Because He came out and He was thinking of me when He died on that cross. Thank you, Jesus. This next song we're going to do is called Canaan Land. You know, I'm thankful today that I'm living in Canaan. You know, we go through a lot of trials and tribulations sometimes down here on this earth. We can live in a land that's much better than this. In our own hearts, there's a Canaan land. You know, God has been so good to me. I thank Him for what He's done for me. I thank Him for the opportunity that I have to minister for Him each and every day. You know, I just was thinking about this song one time, and me and my husband took a vacation. We went down to Texas. There was a lot of uh, barren land, and it was just dry, desert country, you know, and I thought, my, where we live, there's big trees, and there's water, and it's just wonderful, seems like, where we live, and there was people out here in this desert just living out here in the middle of nowhere, and I thought, why would anyone want to do that, you know? But that's what they know. That's where they're from, and that's fine, you know? But when we went back home, I thought, oh, this is great. And just like the Lord, if you're a sinner and you don't know, if you don't know the Lord, you're living in a dry desert. But if you come into the knowledge of knowing Him, you know you can just feel His presence, and you're not living in that dry desert anymore. There's a, a well springing up within your heart, and I thank God for what He's done for me, and I thank God that I'm living in Canaan now.
Brother Leon leads on the course. I'll have a new life. It's an old song. I'm glad I'm going to have a new life one of these days when I get over there. We've enjoyed ourselves uh, this weekend up here in Iowa. And I tell you what, uh, last night was just wonderful. It was wonderful. I just I can't say enough about it. And I'm so glad we're able to do this uh, this afternoon. And I've just enjoyed myself. And I'm going to keep enjoying myself and all these good people that's uh, helped us out. And I just thank Jesus that one of these days I'm going to have a new life. On that resurrection morning when all the dead in Christ shall rise, I'll have a new body. Praise the Lord, I'll have a new life. So in weakness, raised in power, ready to live in paradise. I'll have a new body. Praise the Lord, I'll have a new life. I'll have a new hope. you've heard it on the radio get down and get it by the gospel carriers and truly friend that's what we want to do we want to get down and get it but stay down and keep it
pretty good on that harmonica playing. Amen. Really, truly enjoy that. Well, we want to sing a song right now, Leave It on the Altar. Uh, Charlie, the harmonica player, wrote this song. And uh, that's what we've got to do sometimes. we just got to take our burdens and our cares when we can't uh, take them to anyone else. We have to take them to an altar of prayer and just leave them there. Yeah. And the Lord can take that burden, uh, that disappointment, that sorrow, that hurtful heart, anything you have in your life, He can take it. And He understands all about it and wrap His love around it and make it better, friend, today. Leave it on the altar. song right now it's an old song about on my knees and one of these days friend I'm going to get to bow on my knees before the Lord I'm going to thank him for all that he's done for me and I just feel the presence of the Lord here today in my heart and I just truly love him I can't express to you how much I care about my Lord and what he's done for me but one of these days I'm going to just get to thank him I'm just going to get to bow on my knees and I'm going to thank him for all he's done for me of a city called glory so
said, Timothy, I want to see Jesus on the victory. 